Three separate murder investigations are underway following a violent night across the GTA, including right here in Brampton, where police are on the hunt for multiple suspects following a double stabbing that left one man dead. Now, police say the victims, a father and son, were trying to stop a crime in progress that residents in this neighborhood say has been a problem. Uh, this was people just trying to stop a minor property offense that escalated to the point of becoming a homicide. Very tragic. Very tragic. Very tragic. The altercation started around 2 a.m. outside 8 Lanebrook Avenue. A father and son confronting suspects outside their home. We did have several suspects uh, on Lanebrook Drive, and we think another area, other streets surrounding here, that were involved in minor property offenses like theft, and that would include uh, going into vehicles. About 20 minutes later, police are called to the scene for a stabbing at the residence near Castlemore Road and Goreway Drive. The 63-year-old man was pronounced at the scene, while his 40-year-old son rushed to hospital. He has since been released. I've been two houses away from my house, and we couldn't help the guy. Like, no one knew what was happening. That's scary. Like, that could have been somebody else. That could have been me. Like, I could have been screaming, and no one would have heard Residents on Lanebrook Avenue wake up to find Peel police cruisers blocking the street, blood splattered across the concrete. A neighbor described the victim as a nice man who was often gardening. So this is how fuck made that this happen. All morning and afternoon, detectives were collecting surveillance and dusting for prints on nearby homes and vehicles in the neighborhood, described as quiet and family-oriented. Police are telling the five suspects they're looking for, described as black and in their late teens and early 20s, to turn themselves in immediately. I don't think they set out their night uh, to become involved in a homicide. I think uh, the actions of one has escalated this now into a homicide investigation. Though some residents say break-ins have been a problem in the area. I've heard a lot of break-ins though. They Lots of break-ins during the day, daytime. That's when I got the alarm. We googled the address where the two men lived and it was connected to a website called Vision of Hope Resource Center, described as an organization that offers community programs and services that reduce isolation. Sorry, we missed your call. And we reached out via phone and email and we did not hear back.